I received an email from a viewer and I'll be honest, I don't always get to answer all of the emails I receive. But I thought, let me just make a really quick video to answer this one because I think it can help people. I think this can help people in the world and it's worthy of an answer. The person's name is Andrew and they're trying to change their lives. Let me just open up the email here and read it really quickly. It's really short. The subject is college credit for math. Love your channel. I feel like some videos have given me superpowers. I have always been weak at math, but deep down inside, I want to be an engineer. In fact, I'm trying to go back to school for it, but I lack a math background. Any suggestions where I can go and take math, engineering, and physics classes? I would need to get credit for them as that would increase my opportunity in getting accepted into a university program. Thank you. So yes, I, I do have advice. And this is good advice. I think this can help people in the world. So I thought I would make this video really quickly just to answer this. So what you need to do is after you watch this video, just go online, go on Google, and type in colleges near me. And find colleges, ideally, you know, public schools, community colleges, state colleges, or even universities near you that you can go to that are within driving distance. Once you identify those schools, the ones that are, you know, convenient for you, you know, if the school is two hours away, that might be too far. Then just go to their website and sign up, right? Usually there's a test you have to take, some type of entry test where you take like a basic math test and maybe some English skills. And they use that as some kind of placement test to let you know, you know, what classes you need to take. It's going to be a hassle. You're going to have to submit transcripts from high school. If you're like me and you didn't finish high school, I just have a GED, you'll have to submit your GED. And then you can apply for financial aid. And this is the part where a lot of people get hung up on because school is not free. It costs money. So how it works is in the US, if you're under 24 years old, and this is at least the best of my knowledge, I'm pretty sure it's still this way. They include your parents' income when they're trying to figure out, you know, whether or not they're going to give you some money to go to school. If you're 24 or higher, so 24 years old or older, you're independent in the eyes of the U.S. financial aid system. In that case, they only consider your income. So for me personally, I started when I was 24, so I was able to go for free, although I did have to take out loans because, you know, life is expensive. So yeah, that's, that's the option and that's a good one because at least that way you're in a situation where, you know, you can take a course, you have a teacher, and most importantly, you're getting credit. And I, and I think it's good that you're trying to do this and I think it's a good thing to do. There's, there's a lot of negativity towards college degrees. There's a lot of negativity towards school. And I think it's because you can go to school, you can get a degree, and then you can do nothing with it. I mean, it happens. I mean, there's people who get degrees and, and do nothing. At the same time, there's people that get degrees and, and they do something with them. So I always try to think about it like this. In 10 years, if all is well, you'll still be alive. Would you rather have a college degree or not have a college degree? And so I think that's a pretty simple answer. Most people would say, yeah, I would rather have a degree. So yeah, I think that's the best choice for you. You know, go back take some classes and don't don't let anyone discourage you and don't let yourself become discouraged by the hurdles and the annoyances and the nuances nuances i believe i think it's the word nuances uh, of signing up for college because you know it is a hassle the systems change they vary from college to college you might have to talk to an advisor you have all this paperwork to fill out there might be some issues with financial aid you might not be able to take the classes you want to take you might take a class, you might not like the teacher, the teacher might give you too much homework. I mean, there's all kinds of challenges and hurdles, but that's what makes you stronger. And honestly, that's what I think a college degree is about. It's about, you know, can you go through it? Can you survive? Can you come out stronger? Can you learn how to learn on your own? 
I used to have this this friend I used to work with and he would say that the biggest thing you get from a college degree is that you learn how to learn on your own. And many of you are probably watching this because I know this channel has a lot of people who do self-study and you're probably thinking, well, I already know how to learn. And that, and that could be the case. But when you go through the process of going to college, when you go through those hurdles, it gives you a great experience that you really can't get anywhere else. So I think it's worth it. So yeah, that's my advice. Do it. And chances are you'll be able to find something. Uh, even if you live somewhere really remote, there are community colleges that are accessible, usually within driving distance of most locations in, in the U.S. And they're very affordable. They're really not that expensive. Honestly, the, the tuition rates for those colleges have not gone up much in, in years. I mean, they've been pretty, pretty steady. And I, I, I think the prices of everything else, you know, eggs and milk, I think it's gone up more uh, than the price of, uh, of tuition for those schools. So yeah, that's my advice. If anyone else has advice for Andrew about college and, you know, becoming an engineer, leave a comment in the comment section below. You know, when, when you leave a comment, other people will read those comments and it really, really helps other people. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting subscribe today. If you want to learn math on your own and you don't want to go to college, I do have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. And I also have a Patreon if you feel this content was valuable. But yeah, I, I think the main message you take away from this video is it's worth it. It's, it's worth trying. It's worth going to college. I know plenty of people who have gone to college, like you want to, Andrew, and they've become engineers. I know people who are engineers they are working as engineers and their lives aren't perfect, right? They, they're, they're just like everyone else's lives, right? Nobody's life is perfect. Everyone has challenges. They go to work. Sometimes they hate their job. Sometimes they love their job. But if you look at the life of, you know, a person who's an engineer and working as an engineer and making an engineer salary, which is you know, decent, it's pretty good. In some cases, it can be high. It depends where you are in the world. It's usually better than the life of someone who is not doing uh, such a skilled type job, you know, so it's worth getting the skills. Another thing too to think about is, you know, when you go to college to become an engineer, and, and I'm not saying you shouldn't be an engineer, but you can change your mind. One of the nice things about the U.S. education system, this is particular to the U.S. because I know, I know like in France it's different because I had a friend from France who was telling me it was very different. It's, it's a little more flexible that's also bad, but it's also good because it gives you more flexibility. So like when you go to your college and you take these math classes and you take these physics classes, and then eventually you might take some engineering classes, you can still change your mind about your major. So like when I went to college, I initially wanted to get a PhD in computer science. I walked in there and I told the counselor after failing my math test that I wanted to get a PhD in computer science. And looking back, I thought, what did he, what he must have thought I was an idiot. Like, who is this guy who can't do basic math, who can't solve for X, you know, 2X plus 3 equals 0. I couldn't solve for X, and I want to get a PhD in computer science. But he didn't laugh at me. He treated me with respect, and he put me in, like, an accelerated class, which was, like, pre-algebra and, like, another class. Neither were college credit because they were so low on the food chain of math classes. And I was able to do it. I was able to get a couple degrees in mathematics. I switched to math. I didn't, I didn't do computer science. So you can do that too. You can switch if you decide to. Anyways, I'm ranting. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck. Go do some math.